Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Uh, doing what we, I had, I had an idea. We're going to do what we can do here. Look, all these fish here are probably going to die without aeration. So, we've, I already, we already lost one male, the large male, he weighed over a kilo. He was in this first pen here. Uh, look, uh, what we're going to do, all these little guys in here, they're all up on the top trying to breathe. Most of those will probably die without aeration. Um, the only option that we have here, we do still have that tiny little 500 watt inverter uh, that we were using at the shrimp pond. But it's it's 12 volt to uh, 120. Uh, everything here is 220. So these this battery pack was set up for 24 volts. So all I can do, I just disconnected. Uh, I just disconnected what makes it 24 volts. I disconnected the two batteries. Uh, to where it's just single. Um, I'm going to have Tata bring up the transformer and see if we can hook the transformer to this inverter and uh, bring it up to 220 volts. Uh, you know that's a that's an incredibly inefficient way to do things. We're going to have a 10 or 10 percent loss in the inverter and then probably another 10 percent loss in the transformer. Um, to batteries that are no longer hooked up to solar because here, here's what we're going to have to do. I mean, the solar panels are 24 volt as well. Uh, so, <laughs> in order to make this work, um, we'd have to hook them back up to 24 volts, hook the solar panels to them, charge them up, Disconnect them, disconnect the solar panels, take the uh, batteries uh, out of series, and then put them back to 12 volt, just single batteries, and then we can hook up the uh, inverter and use it for a while until the battery goes dead, and then uh, put it on the other battery, same thing, until it goes dead, and then we got two dead batteries, and um, I'll come back up with the solar and charge them again. Tata, can you get the transformer? All right. So what I did, hooked up this 12 volt inverter, hooked this transformer to it, and the aeration is working. Uh, you know, let it run for 15 or 20 minutes. That's the best I can do. Um, These fish, I, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose all my fish, and, and I'm sure they will certainly die 24 hours without any air at all. So uh, we'll just do this piecemeal. Yeah, the nail came loose, did I? I took I is it even more yeah I took both of these I took the aeration unit filter out of this I took the, the, the three in one filter out of this and put it in here uh, just to get some serious oxygenation into this little tank here quickly. Um, for some reason this isn't pumping but I don't care, it's making oxygen. I'll bet the filter's all plugged up. The infil intake filter. Yeah. So it should start pumping something now. I'm more worried about it for aeration than 
uh, water circulation. And it is, it is pumping it in, so it's, it'll begin the transfer shortly. So look, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it 10 minutes. I'll let this aeration run for 10 minutes. And um, then we're going to switch it off. And I'm going to try to get power into the house so we can hook up the Wi-Fi, charge our gadgets, and just leave that on until we run that battery. Well, leave it on for an hour or two. Don't know how long that battery is going to last. Look, all we're going to turn on is the Wi-Fi and, and charging gadgets. Uh, it's daytime. We don't need any lights. Uh, get everything charged up and then come out and uh, run this aeration again for another 10-15 minutes and just keep doing it back and forth we're gonna have to figure out something to get the solar panels hooked up and uh, we'll go from there alright I'm gonna release these little dogs here the best I can do for them I don't want to leave them in here I don't think they're I don't think breeding is going to be foremost in their minds during the storm, but I don't want them to be trapped in here. Come on. Come on. These chickens. God help them. They're on their own. These little dogs are going to have to... Hey, Chucky. They're going to have to find shelter best they can. These bees here, there's not much that I can do for them. I'm going to set them down on this bottom bench. I don't want to set them on the floor here because I'm like 99% sure this floor is going to flood. Look, there's shelter from the house. And there's, they've got three walls in here. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough to keep from blowing the hives away. Um, there's really no, nowhere else we can put them except in the house. And you know what, that's probably what we should do, but I should ask Marcel. my lens, my non-working viewfinder lens dried off. <clears throat> I'm going to ask Marcel if I can bring these inside. Even that, I'm even, I'm not sure if that's the right move. But, um, we'll talk it over. Alright, well what I've done is run a rope here. which I've secured around these around these and they're pretty tight in there ah. so hopefully that'll work you have big playing between here and Nereos? Uh, 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 the, there's absolutely no way to drive around it? yeah like the uh, polo all right. There's a big. Yeah, we were gonna go get Nario and Ging Ging. They they don't feel safe in their house. We were gonna get them and bring them down here, but now of course there's a big ass tree in the road. All right, that's it for the bees. I'm gonna try to get some aeration going here too, just for a few minutes. All right, so I'll probably unplug that as soon as I finish making this video. It's probably the last outside video I'm going to be making. So look, here's what I did. You guys have seen the Filipino MacGyver in action, and you've seen the Oki and the Filipino MacGyver in action. Now you get to see the Oki MacGyver in action again. So here's what I did. We have this 12-volt uh, inverter, which is hooked to this transformer which will transform 110 to 220 all right 
This line is going into the house. So we have Wi-Fi and lights and we can keep our gadgets charged, okay? And it's running off of that battery. Rather than have to continuously go back and forth, hook up the solar, unhook the solar, mess with the solar, because it's going to be dark in a couple hours and there's not going to be any solar. And there's very little today anyway because it's cloudy. Those panels would be putting out 10 or 15 percent of their rating. Basically a waste of time on a cloudy day like this. So here's what I did. Uh, this van is running. This battery's hot, so it's charging. Uh, we've hooked up the battery, this battery, to that battery, which uh, and the van is running, so the alternator is charging this battery and this battery both at the same time. Uh, so when the battery that's in the pump in the pump house goes dead, we'll transfer this one into the pump house, bring the dead one up here, and um, hook it up here to let it charge. Uh, we've got, I don't know, we had a little over a half a tank of gas. This little van is not going to burn hardly any gas at all, just sitting here idling, uh, running uh, just, just with the inverter putting out. That's the best I can do. So, we have a way to keep the batteries charged. That's why I'm uh, taking the chance of running a little bit of aeration. That reminds me I've got to hook one more for a few minutes also. I'm going to run the aeration for the, the aeration pump that's, that's on the uh, for the black tilapia. We'll make sure I'm not overwhelming that poor little inverter. And I'm only going to run this aeration for a few minutes. I know. I know that's all I'm going to get out of it. Uh, but hopefully, main aerial, hopefully it will help. That reminds me, I've got to unplug these small units here. Oh, that's great. Well, we've got banana trees in them now. All right, well, that's something else I've got to do real quick like. So I'm going to unhook uh, these little small units that are no longer... I've taken, well, I guess I could aerate a little bit in here since there are still a few little fish in there. That's what I can do for them. Alright, so I'm going to let this aeration run for a few minutes. I'm going to get these banana trees up out of these tanks and uh, call it a day for being outside. All right, that's what I can do. Much as I hate to do it, I'm gonna turn this aeration off. A little something is better than nothing. I wish it would start raining, at least that way it would, it would be breaking the surface of the, it would be breaking the surface of the water. It wouldn't really be aerating it, but uh, it, would be allowing, it would be allowing the, the O2, I think, the toxic gas is out. But I, I am just, you know, we, we my, we, my brother tried to uh, send the money for us to get a generator. PayPal's not working. Uh, we just couldn't make it happen. Uh, so there's no generator. So we've just got to, you know, we're limited. And uh, running these aeration units is a luxury we don't have. Uh, I'll come out every hour or two, probably every two hours, and run them for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm just trying to keep these fish alive, not particularly comfy.
it's better than nothing. Alrighty. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.